That looks to see where exactly they're going to be heading. It looks like Daddy Gamers is going to go and check Lumberjack while Fajita Knight's going to go straight for the Lost Woods, it seems. Uh, both of them got bombs when they were doing escape, so they're in a little bit of a... Yeah, they're both not needing to farm for bombs right now. Ooh, the bush crab is dropping big 20s. That is an interesting thing right there. Did you see that, Mr. Burrito? Yeah, that's great. Bomb was on Aga. <laughs> Be curious to see if that comes into play later. That was uh, Bombos there on uh, on Lumberjack. Now, it's hard to say whether or not we're going to need that as we go ahead and pick up Ether you know, in the uh, in the Lost Woods hideout there. In the basement of uh, Blind's house, we pick up our first glove. There, a 300, big 300 drop, a sword, and a small piece of heart here. So, a pretty good start there. That's going to give them enough to at least get the bottle vendor checked. And if they want to pick up more bombs, they can do that. Another 50 in the back as well. All right, moving on over there. We're gonna go check out the well, see what else we can find. Should things should be going pretty, uh, going pretty smoothly here. It's, uh, both runners seem to be favoring the nice, easy beginning start here. Uh, just a big twenty, followed by a couple more rupees and rupees. <laughs> Seems to be the way hey, of the sea. That's great early We got on. a compass. Now this is map and compass shuffle. We get flippers in there just to make all of the give us something to spend all of these rupees on. And Bottle Vendor just has some bombs as well. Now, Map and Compass Shuffle is a little bit of a different, a um, little bit of a different animal. Uh, all of your maps and compasses are put out into the world, so none of these guys know what are the crystals and what are the pendants. So checking a map at the moment makes no difference. And on top of that, it adds even more items to each of the dungeon. So every dungeon that has a map and a compass, which is every dungeon, gets two more items on top of that. So it changes your routing a little bit. It's um it's a difficult mode to play, especially when you're playing it 1v1 like this. As right now we're just kind of picking up a bunch of useless compasses. Um nothing too interesting yet. I believe it was Fajita Knight that chose this mode. Uh Daddy Gamers took the first game, so interesting choice. Definitely good to hear you there, bud. <laughs>
Looks like Fajita Knight's just gonna go ahead and YOLO the race game there. I didn't happen to see if there was something, anything on that if he had checked it before. It is just a big 20. Hey, sometimes it's better just go for it. Very true. Now, Daddy Gamers, Daddy Gamers, on the other hand, didn't go for it and ended up probably saving themselves a good 15 seconds just by seeing the big 20 and then saving and quitting. Um, Helps buy back the time from checking Aga as well. Exactly. Well, we got some divergence here as a uh, Fajita Knight goes and checks the dam while Daddy Gamers is going to the back of escape and gonna see what that glove got him. Uh, gets the small key and elects not to go. Do the dark rooms there, which I I can't blame them. Those aren't fun. Oh, it's never fun. And definitely, and our first map, and Fajita Knight just chooses not to pick it up, which is an interesting in interesting choice in this mode. As you said, without that map, you won't know which dungeons are crystals or pendants. So. I, I would have taken the three seconds to go and get it, honestly, but we'll have to see if that's going to be any sort of a problem at all. As he snipes that Moldorm across the cap with the bow there, which is always a good feeling. With a mirror. Uh, we got a mirror and a map to Desert Palace, so we can, if he wants to go ahead and do a quick check on his map there, we can find out exactly one <laughs> of the items at the moment, of the, uh, of the dungeons at this moment. Daddy Gamers elects Daddy to get Gamer. the map. Dark Palace, the pod. Daddy Gamers decides to just go to uh, Aga. Uh, Agan, Aga. Agana. Sorry. Oh, Gina. Agana. A a Gina. Uh, old Desert Dude. <laughs> old Desert Dude's the most accurate. Find Desert Dude, you know, old Conehead. Uh, ends up seeing the a master sword there sitting on the desert ledge, so that might be something to, you know, stash away for later there. Meister of fart jokes, as very, very well told there. Meister of fart jokes, nice. He only gets a heart piece out of it, but he does get that knowledge that there is a th second sword over there, which could come in handy later. Kind of interested here to see if uh, Fah Fahita Knight makes the decision to farm a few rupees before he goes up to Zora. He's far enough away that it wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But oh, and just a Alex, just a nope out of there. Uh, Daddy gamers will be seeing all of the the checks we already saw on Fahita Knight's side. What's more, Daddy Gamers will have a little bit more money so that if he wants to go up and visit Zora, there's a much better chance that he will be willing to do it as he picks up his mirror in there. Zora's in logic right now with the glove and the flipper, so. That's why I'm kind of wondering if they're going to be willing to go over there and just uh, check it out, because... You, you you really don't? And we did get a map check there. That looked like a crystal over at Desert there, real fast. So there's a Master Sword and a crystal. To see if we find a book and people just go right over there. 
Uh, it'd be tempting, I mean, because at the very least, you would get a sword. Um, and if the desert happens to not be boots locked, then you're you're sitting there and you're with assuming you have a find a fire source, you are able to complete desert. Edenite is electing to go check Dark Cross. Boy, he's he's uh he's a little bit low on health there, and it looks like he is in the snake room, if I'm not mistaken. There, I believe he's there. He's just looking for the chest. Yep, and uh, Coppice. Yeah, that that unfortunately that didn't pay off for him there. Knowledge is power. Very true, very true. But compasses don't really give you anything but more than just the ability to count to 12, I guess, in this case. This is only, uh, wait, no, I'm thinking key sanity. <laughs> it's, I forget how many is going to be in swamp now. Oh! that uh took those flippers oh. and went up to the waterfall cave and grabbed himself a hammer he didn't have struck in eastern so it'll be interesting to see if he finds anything there like the moon pearl yes because that's the only thing we're looking uh that we're still looking for here um I'm a little surprised that nobody has just taken their bow and gone straight to Eastern yet because map and, map and compass shuffle just means that the maps and compasses are shuffled. Uh, the dungeons are still completely completable. So if you can do those Eastern dark rooms, that can be your first dungeon. In you could have done this in the first five minutes of the game almost. Even I might be looking to do that. Daddy Gamers follows close behind. Daddy Gamers did not have enough money for his store, so he didn't check it. He saw the ledge and left. Hopefully, well, that that at least for both runners, they have both gotten that. And uh, Fahita and I doing something very important there just a second ago. They he checked what Sasharala said, and it told him that actually what you're about to go do is just going to be the green pendant. Daddy, Zip sorry. playing yeah, the vanilla game. Exactly. And are we going to get boots from it at the end? <laughs> very true, very true from chat there that is it is six items hiding over here and one of those could very easily be the moon pearl both runners kind of just making their way through eastern and doing the rooms that They've probably done a good 500 times. Fajita Knight opting, f uh, going for the three kill there in the Stalfos room. Oh, now that's an item. It's logical mountain axis. Is mountain axis that is Hera axis, and that is east side dark, uh, east side death mountain access there with that hammer that daddy gamers has. So, this is gonna give daddy gamers an even bigger advantage. And the only hope here is, is that Fajita Knight goes and hits that waterfall fairy quick as uh, quicker as possible. If he hits 500 rupees, he may elect to do that. And then, if Zora has something, it could be big, could really help him, definitely for sure. Uh, if he had to ha if he had lamp, there's a, there is the easy uh, rupee room in the back here of, of um, Eastern. But when you're doing that blind like this in the dark, yeah, it's probably not where you want to go. 
not the most fun thing in the world. And then you have to find the stairs, and how often do you take the stairs in that room? You know, you don't go there that often. God. I want to say that the stairs are in the middle of that room, but I'm not actually sure. Right. Uh, I, that's one of, one of those I have to think about. I, I never go back there without the lamp, so... of ice palace there on fajita night side while daddy gamers chooses to leave dude it's the, he knows it's a green pendant right so he didn't want to finish it i mean i i understand it. it everything everything that from there from that point on is out of logic completely so hmm. if you're just going to follow the logic exactly that's the right play um We'll have to see if that's going to be a uh, deal while Fajita Knight goes and he looks to be through the dark room there. So he'll go ahead and pick up the pendant. These kinds of divergences that make, uh, make these races so much fun to watch. indeed the duck is a muck and the drake is awake and all those other nice little things that we've come up with over the years of playing rando okay daddy uh fajita knight having a little trouble here with the red red igors in this room takes him down without too much of an issue here and he's going to go back to armos knights This is a setup I have never seen before. I think I may have seen this once before, but it's nice because he kind of like says hello to the Armos and then kills him. Oh, finds the Quake medallion there uh, as, to go along with his green pendant. So now we have knowledge of every single pendant, uh, every single medallion on top of everything. Fajita doesn't know where Bombos is. He didn't check Agar, right? we have knowledge <laughs> right right yeah no that could that could be really bad for him actually unfortunately uh, that bombos being on the on the ledge there that could lead to some very awkward situations he tonight only gets that only gets that five rupees from the green pendant turn in but he did get Quake, which could turn into something huge. And a compass on Spectacle Rock. Or in Spectacle Rock. To kind of finish what I was thinking about Bombos now. It's not unlikely. It has been ha it has happened many times before that Ice Palace could lock your fire rod. And if that happens, well, guess who's doing Aga to get to your fire rod? And it's almost guaranteed that your fire rod is, is going to be something you need. There's very few seeds where that's not gonna be an issue. Real quick on Daddy Gamer's side, he did check the map while he's in the dark world. So Pod is a red crystal. Uh, he's just a boy. I believe this is game two uh, or game three. Game two. I believe this was game two. Daddy and, Gamers won the first uh, one. Then this would be uh, this would have been Fajita Knight's choice, wouldn't it have? And it's, it's an interesting choice. Uh, that, 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 uh, like Vandal says there in the chat, I'm kind of surprised that he's not being a little bit more active about finding the information here. Now, Daddy Gamer's setting up for this bomb jump. That's nice, easy setup there and picks it and gets across no problem. Gets himself a nice 20 rupees. It won them all there. <laughs> Good setup, though.
Oh. Here's the thing, uh, chat bringing up the point that there is no item in the basement. This is map and cup compass shuffle. If Moldorm drops a key, there's an item down there. And there's an item down there. This, this actually messed me up a couple of days ago when I got myself stuck trying to find Dark World access only to figure out that, oh, my hammer was in the basement of a pod that I thought I was counting. Without a fire source, we'll never know what's down there until they find a fire source. Until they find a fire source and exhaust every other option. <laughs> yeah, the chance of them going back to that is fairly small. Well, let's see what Fajita Knight finds in the back of Escape. Or in Ooh, the front of Escape, that, rather. That, that's a cane on Floating Island. Sorry to cut you off there, but that was a cane on Floating Island. To know. I saw earlier that uh, Fajita Knight had picked up the Master Sword uh, in the first chest of escape there. Uh... He gets the desert, he'll get his tempered, and that's always a, a big up from the Master Sword. that is one of the best things that you can find for sure it, it it changes the entire game the ganon fight goes from being oh no we'll place to take a death there as the moldorms just would not leave daddy gamers alone and he's gonna go back around because he does not want to leave paradox cave there that's just not something he wants there's seven chests there there's a lot of options for what could be there Oh gosh, and four hearts and death mountain climb with all of these cabbages. Take off one. He's already down to one heart. Uh oof. This is this is this is a rough climb here. Now oh and there it goes. Right on his head. That's a shame. Man, no breaks for the daddy gamer today. Away. <laughs> And and I up his hammer. Right, and now with those 800 plus rupees, we can actually finally get to see what uh, Zora has been hiding this entire time. Artist scams again. He tonight treating that compass with the d disdain that it deserves. Disdain it most certainly deserves. But that's good for news for Daddy Gamer. Hopefully he won't end up uh, at some point feeling like, you know what, I need to check. Oh god, he's down to one heart again. <laughs> oh boy uh i don't know if i would go in this way honestly but this is he's gonna get be completely all right there with that bow going in to get into a <laughs> paradox cave those moldoms are not his friend today i guess it's the purple hair and just you know, they want to touch it it is lore that Moldorms hate purple hair. That's kind of why they hate Link. He usually has pink hair. There you go. It's all that, you know, you, those, they they only respect brown. I, 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 it's one thing that we never knew. Ooh, and a couple of good strikes with the hammer there to finally get rid of his enemies, the Moldorms. <laughs> That's revenge. And now Fajita Knight's hey, taking a toll from the cabbages. 
Oh, he's also down to one heart. As, oh, Daddy Gamers is hitting it huge there. That's a hook shot. A mitts and the lamp in Paradox Cave. No, do not save and... Well, wait, actually, wait. Yes, you don't have a pearl. Save and quit. <laughs> And the pearl hunt continues. Where are we going now? Oh no. Oh, it's either Aga or it's Tower of Hera Basement. Oh, well, he can go all the way back with the Tower lamp. of Hera Basement. Oh my god. I... Oh dear. moments like these where I do not envy either of these runners, but I wish them both the best. This is, this is going to be an interesting thing here, because... Oh, I don't know which way I go with that, honestly. That's that's a, that's a terror. The, those, they're just awful, awful, awful choices. This is one time where you wish that you had done um, Paradox Cave before going to Hera. <laughs> Absolutely. Super and Bunny Daddy Cave Gamer is completely out of logic. That won't tell? Say again, sorry? I didn't hear what you said before. That's fine. I was I was answering chat there. Super Bunny Cave is 100% out of logic, yes. It, it, it will not have the pearl. It might have something else. Have the pearl. Daddy's sake, he has not had the best of luck on Death Mountain when it comes to survival, so he might avoid that like the plague. And what's more is Daddy's got that, um, the Daddy Gamers, I keep calling him Daddy feels weird. The Daddy Gamers has <laughs> the, has the, um, knowledge that there's Bombos on the, on the, um, on the Lumberjack here. So, just makes that play up to Aga. Just says, you know what? This is. I'm probably gonna need to do this. It's gonna be a gamble. It's a, it's a gamble either way as Fajita Knight goes down the center hole. Ooh. Oh, no. it hurts. The gamer is now gonna make the trek out to Dark Cross now that he has a lamp. Oh, he'll get rewarded with his compass to Swamp Palace there, unfortunately, but, you know. Using to save and quit. Hey. What? What are we doing? <laughs> Has no one been to Hobo yet? Who was checked? Oh. Uh, Fajita Knight, unfortunately, giving Boldorm a poke there on his last spin instead of the... instead of the, uh, the full swing. And ending up getting knocked off the platform. Now, yes, this is ah, uh, Daddy Gamers is making a very smart play, one that I did not think about a second ago. Uh, with those mitts and the mirror, that pearl could be sitting in Checkerboard Cave right now, but he's gonna get, and it could be in uh, Desert as well. He's gonna be dodging this very aggressive murder tactile though. <laughs> In the safe route. Just make a portal, get rid of it. You don't have to worry about it. Uh, Meanwhile, hey. Fahita Knight takes down Moldor. 
gamers gets it right and that is where your moon pearl is it's hiding in checkerboard cave oh that was a smart move Furthermore, what is what is Daddy Gamers doing here? He's just gonna mirror. He's just gonna flute away and not check desert there. Well, I suppose he has a lot of dark world checks now that he wants to take care of, or he'll just go do go to the bottom left of okay. Be Meyer shed. Well, it, it it works. It works. Yeah, he's gonna do Meyer shed here, um, and gonna pick up that extra sword here. In just a second. He is going to be sitting there on tempered, which is definitely the way that you want to go through the most of this seed. And immediately gets sniped by an uh, by a Beemos there. They've been intentional. Probably. One heart it seems like an easy, quick way to get your health back a little bit. Meanwhile, Fajita Knight's about to be faced with the same predicament. And we are not boots locked in, in uh, desert here. He was able to pick up that uh, big key. Did he check the torch by any chance? I, I looked down for a second. Didn't see. He did? Small key? Small key, okay. So we are soft boots locked then. Uh, you can still beat the dungeon. Leaving, ab leaving behind two items on the right side. And <laughs> gold sword already. Oh my. Oh, those poor, poor... Poor Landmos, they're not even going to know what hits them. On the For, for Fajita Knight's side, looks like he's making the same play or something very similar. Yep, he is running down and he's going to pick up his Tempered Sword here. Um, So he's very close to getting the Moon Pearl as well. Uh, chances are he's going to choose to visit, uh, finish out Desert first and hopefully then go to Checkerboard Cave. Alright, looks like Daddy Gamers is having pretty much no problem here with Landmos. He's already down to the last one, and that is a very dead Landmo. For all of 10 arrows and a crystal, which is the most important part. He already has three crystals, is that right? No, he um, knows where a pot is, he only has two. Right, he has two crystals at the moment. Um, we'll have to see exactly where he goes. He can, he could complete pod right now if he fluted over to five. But it looks like he's going to choose to do the hype cave check first, and then it'll. We'll have to see exactly where he chooses to go from there because he has the whole world open to him right now.
That, ooh, interesting. Turtle Rock is a pendant today. That means we do not have an ice rod hunt ahead of us. That, and it might remove the Bombos requirement that Daddy Gamers knows about. If it's Bombos, it's a little bit of a long shot. Yeah, uh, actually, you know, when we were in Mire, I don't think either of our runners checked to see what the medallion was. Mm -hmm. Hopefully on Fajita Knight's side here, once he's done picking it up, he'll be able to, he'll give us a quick look at it. Uh, we're getting chat saying it was Quake, but I, uh, to be honest, I didn't see. It looks like uh, Daddy Gamers has it marked as Quake on his tracker, so we're gonna we're gonna assume that it's Quake, and that's not the reason we need uh, Bombos today. Knight will find his Moon Pearl, which is a great find. I'm sure he'll be very relieved to see that. Looks like Daddy Gamers is gonna take that small advantage that he has uh, and go ahead and try to push it a little bit further by going on to uh, Pod right now. Plays a lot of checks, Red Crystal. Oh no! Well, the Heatonite checks the Meyer Shed and gets a blue boomerang out of it. Some people argue that that's the better boomerang. Oh, give me the red boomerang now that we have all of the uh, splash deletion glitches and everything like that. It's just, it's, it's so much more, so much better now. <laughs> hey, somebody just finished in fourth place. Oh, that's fantastic, except it's probably the wrong thing. <laughs> Something to something to keep in mind. That quake was on the Armos Knights. Well, that's right. Good point. Yeah, and uh, Fajita Knight went ahead and, and completed it. Um, Daddy Gamers is in the area, but there is a very good chance that that check is just going to be orphaned at this point. with with the, everything else available at the moment it's going to require a pretty strong galaxy brainish play to go you know what yeah i'm going to take the 4 minutes right now 3 minutes or so and go and get these two items when i can beat thieves town i can check dark death mountain i can check all of these other things or every time to see to do what it, happens. it would be right now after pod. Well, not right now after pod. Yeah, I mean, and on top of that, um, technically Meyer is available. Like you can go and beat Meyer right now. You just have to climb Death Mountain to go get that cane that's sitting on the floating island. There, there's, there is so much available to these runners right now. It's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see exactly what is the right play at the moment. Quake was on the Armos, Armos Knights. It's, in, it's not in the front. It's in the very, very back. Like, you have to go through the entire dungeon. and So it's at least three minutes to complete it.
And that mirror just makes the pod the pod play so much easier. I I I like I like mirroring there right now. Yep, the only two uh only two places that we cannot complete right now are uh Turtle Rock Ice Palace, because we don't have Bombos or Fire Rod. And we won't we can't beat Skull Woods because we can't open the back of it yet. Everything else is basically available. You can get Bombos, but have to know that it's there. <laughs> so Daddy Gamers can do uh, can do Ice Palace, but he has to commit to go going to get Bombos first. It's a big commitment. Uh, uh, you're gonna do Swamp first. You're gonna do Thieves Town first. Oh, you're gonna get Silver Arrows first in the back of Pod because why not? Didn't hurt. I'm not going to say that the seed is being kind until we find a fire rod. If we find a fire rod, then at that point, yes, the seed is being relatively kind. Um, that fire rod could still be hiding in a terrible, terrible location. We're, it can't be... We know it can't be too far into Turtle Rock, which is a big win. We know it can't be in the back of Skull Woods. It can be everywhere else, right? Besides Ganon's Tower? Right. Uh, and actually, it could be on Laser Bridge. It's incredibly rare. It requires the most ridiculous key setup ever. Um, but it can be back there. For runner's sake, I hope that's not the case. Definitely, that would be miserable. Because at that point, that's the last place you're gonna go. <laughs> like, there's so many, so many choices right now that are just not good. These runners, what these runners do here. Um, hopefully, they come across it soon in clearing out these next few dungeons. Because I, I wouldn't be surprised if they end up doing kind of the similar routes from this point on. Chat pointing out, yeah, it can't be paired since Turtle Rock's dependent. And chat bringing up a good point that, yeah, it could actually even be in GT. We don't know what that third pendant is. And if that is Skull Woods, then that fire rod is optional. Oh, don't know. And that the, that kind of feels like that's and the quake medallion are going to be the biggest choke points of the seed at the moment. Alright, it looks like Daddy Gamer's making their way back to Helmosaur here, Dino Kitty, whatever you want to call him. Uh, smack him in the helmet a few times there with a hammer until it breaks open and then it's going to be his choice whether you want to use the two gold sword sli slashes or if you want to use the silver arrow. Looks to be choosing the slashes, both work really well. Or you have never heard anyone call him Dino Kitty. Oh god. That that has become such a meme lately, but yeah. My mom calls him.
it choosing to save and quit versus mirroring and fluting there. Goes quick. It's gonna be a while before he comes back for that. Yep. Yeah. That actually, I think that actually gives Fajita Knight a fairly substantial advantage. I agree. Like, is, yeah, I mean, he, at this point, if Meyer is a pendant, it's not a big deal, but we don't know. We don't know. Instead, choosing Daddy Gamers is going to take a left here and check our five six crystals for us they are pod and swamp two guesses where he's going like fajita knights making their way through the turtle turtle room there doesn't really have any problem just to see will we in. we use a uh, hammer strat or bomb strat on the mask and will he use the golden sword or the silver arrow Both runners seem to be favoring the uh, sword swipes, which is probably the right way. Saves you a menu. And into Swamp we go. Let's find out about these eight items that we have hi hiding in here today. Are you including the red crystal check with that? Um, no, it's the because of the map and compass shuffle. There, there is a full eight items in swamp right now. It is a you add incredibly in high density place, but uh, you're gonna have to choose. Left side, one hundred percent has items. Do you want to go and do it though? My side brings up in the chat uh, when you have map compass shuffle on into the item pool. It adds plus two items to all dungeons except Tyrell Castle, where it's only plus one. So that's good to know, and thanks, Westside, for pointing that out. You're right as well, though. Um, after this, that is going to give um, Daddy Gamers the ability to go and take that um, take that big bomb up to up to um, the Pyramid Fairy and find out if if she's holding anything. Well, Fajita Knight opts for uh, town, uh, Thieves Town, Town of Thieves. And what's more, Fajita Knight gave us a map check there for a second. Gave us that Ice K uh, ice Rod. Uh, no, no, the Ice Rod. Ice Palace is a crystal as well. So we're starting to run low on our possible pendants here. In this case, maybe, maybe Quake isn't required. Possible. It's a bottle. Why not check out what it's in? Uh, what the sick it has immediately. Only a piece of heart.
Oh, hello, Ice Rod. He got Fire Rod out of the, uh, out of the... Fajita Knight supposedly got Fire Rod out of the chess game. It was the one I checked that nobody could see. Yep, there it is in his... That's in his... Ooh. Okay. So that means Bombos is... That Bombos on uh, Lumberjack is probably not even going to be a thing. And... He's in... He goes and gets the cane off of... Off of uh, the floating island right now. My, does he need the, the, the cane for? Oh, it's okay. He 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 might need the cane. Is the thing? I, yeah. Uh, it's like it's twofold. It, if Meyer is your crystal, yeah, you need it. Um, if GT key is on the right side, you definitely need it then as well. Um, it'll be interesting as of to see, right how now, we, see how he plays it here. What we know, we don't know. He's in really good shape. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, he's in a great position right now. Um, Daddy Gamers is gonna go ahead and finish out Swamp here, and hopefully doesn't go left side, because uh, it's just gonna be a time sink at this point for him. But what Fahina Knight can do is just blitz the rest of the dungeons. Hopefully, Fahina Knight realizes that I have everything I need to complete eft that i know about and uh i'm sure he must have seen the red cane up on the floating island so he can pretty much just go mode everything right at this point yeah he it's uh he's got gold sword he's got silvers um he's got to be a little careful in the back of uh thieves here now that he's down to one heart but um just getting through this room without too much problem. If magic, you have the cane of burna. Your survival isn't too big of an ordeal. Plus, he has a green potion. Very true, very true. But there are these uh, these little red zizaks in here are just the worst. Um, especially the one in this next room in the uh, in the prison cells over back here. This guy likes to this guy likes to camp down at the bottom every once in a while. And then just start spamming um, fireballs at you, and you're like, "Oh, that's not a big deal." Those fireballs go through the bars, and I've gotten killed after I'd picked up blind just from a snipe coming from away from the room. He and that team's aware of that, so we took the precaution of killing him first. Interestingly enough, the Heat and Night does not seem to be go-moding anything. I like that and... verb of go-moding. Yeah, yeah, you know. Who says, who she says wants a mail upgrade. Can... Yeah, I'm kind of interested. What what is uh, what is he looking for exactly here? Well, Daddy Gamers finishes off Argus. The extra R's. This is on the R. Good point. Boots might be required. Yeah, but I mean, that's a 1 in 22 chance. <laughs> I mean, um, you're, you're, you're not going to be checking things for that. So you're saying there's a chance. chance. And what we just got is we just got the info that uh, Skull Woods is our last pendant there. I guess uh, Daddy Gamers must have checked that. As Blind goes down, gets a red boomerang. And 
Oh, and that is actually, yes, that's really terrible for daddy gamers. That means that Quake Medallion is going to be hiding from him for a long, long time. Oh, man. If Fajita Knight would just check his map here, he would know that what he's about to do isn't really gonna help him. Oh, okay. Well, if he doesn't have the map, then, well, this is still the probably... In, in, then in this case, this is the right play for daddy gamers is to go back here find out that this is a pendant and then hopefully start go moding stuff Daddy Gamers is now heading his way into the Dark World over on the left side here. He'll be doing Outcasts Blind, probably, in Thieves Town. So he'll pick up his Fire Rod, um, which will put him in a very, very good si situation as long as the next thing that he does is magically realize that he needs to go to Eastern Palace. That would be one magical situation. Yeah, it's 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 he's in a he's in a really rough shape. It's it's one of those where he's gonna feel really 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 good until he realizes that he could have had it within the first five minutes of the race, which is just I mean, there's no way of knowing, and that's rando for you. Night making their way back to Moldorm. Gonna give us a nice Mothula. Mothula, thank you. Yeah, sorry. Control you like right. Moldorm. Exactly. Oh god. Yeah, we, even though he's got gold sword and you know magic with fire rod, this could still go wrong because Moldorm could just bounce into the spikes and decide, you know what? Not taking damage today. Sorry. It's like right there. <laughs> Yep. And with the green mail there, every one of Moldorm's shots takes two hearts, but ah. Not even a not even a worry there. Takes him down without an issue. On goes the moth. And now Fajita Knight has information that he needs for Pretty much the rest of the game. At this point, he needs to. It. it this is a go mode situation here. If he realizes it. Actually, you know what? It does make sense if Moldorm were to evolve into Mothula, like some sort of weird Pokemon thing. It's kind of like a caterpillar, and Mothula is kind of like a. Uh, I mean, it, it makes sense to me. And Daddy Gamers is just getting put through the ringer in that hellway there, down to half a heart. Uh. Hopefully, we'll be able to clutch this out. I wouldn't do it there. Oh, and gets through. Fahina Knight continues to th to uh, go through Skull Woods here. Yeah, that's interesting. He doesn't seem to realize the really great position he's in. Uh,
Yeah, it gives us a save and quit there. I mean, theoretically, he's at a go mode swamp, a go mode ice palace, a go mode uh, mire from finishing. I guess yeah. I guess I, that that's the only thing that um, the chat chat's bringing chat's bringing this up. Yeah, it it maybe he is just not comfortable with his current uh his current layout here. What out of your yeah. green mail and no bottle and one bottle. actually all good for daddy gamers though um the longer that fajita night um takes to sw basically switch to go mode the more time that he has to try to figure out exactly where that quake medallion is um Gabers takes down blind is going to get re rewarded with his red boomerang. Here's to see where he goes next. First bottle there on uh, for Daddy Gamers as well. Oh, with Daddy Gamers not being, um, not being in go mode, not having that quake, he's probably going to spend a lot of time here. Maybe doing Smith Chain, maybe going seventeen different places. Bike cave, digging game, all the fun ones. Alright. So both runners are both runners are in very interesting situations. Um Fajita Knight has definitely got a substantial advantage thanks to thanks to having that Quake medallion. Crazy how just one one item makes all the difference. Yeah, you hate to see it, but rando being the way it is, it's it's um sometimes you going up when you should have gone down is all you need to win or to lose a match. Rando is nothing if it isn't fair. Oh, the thing is, is with us not seeing any sort of mail or extra bottles here, you, you almost kind of have to wonder if the, they're going to be hiding in GT. 
Um, that's always the thing find them anyway. kind of. Yeah, that's that's the thing that you're always kind of worried about. They could be hiding inside Turtle Rock, so fully. As for Knight, it's just melting, just absolutely destroying Argus there. Ooh, with a nice like the quick idea kill as well. Of Turtle Rock and Trinex having the the mail upgrade, it's like one color for each head. That makes sense, right? <laughs> it's getting to be winter. It's kind of cold. Oh, it's freezing where I am right now, unfortunately. I'm staying inside and watching Rando and and drinking tea. That That's my day today. I'm uh, hanging outside in 10 degree weather watching Rando. The best way. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, that's that, that's Daddy just Gamers good. doing the Smith chain. Some love. Hey, right, it looks like Fajita Knight has decided, you know what? Let's go to Meyer. So it makes sense to leave Ice Palace for last, honestly. Um mirrors flutes away I think think what had happened it's a cane. is Fajita Knight yeah Fajita Knight hadn't checked the medallion I don't think mm. the medallion and that explains everything actually it really does Now that he's beelining it for that cane. Okay, yeah, that explains that explains so much more. Hey gamers yeah, checks the digging spot for the shovel and finds bombs. I didn't see him pick up the shovel, to be honest. I want to say that was in Swamp, but I'm not 100% sure on that. He just flew uh, away without his chest? I think he just gave up on the chest. Um... He's just said, you know what, enough of this. I'm wasting too much time and I'm going into Ice Palace. It's fair. And sometimes Stumpy needs a Christmas present too, if you just leave the chest there. Oh, yeah. And it looks like Fajita Knight might just be 100% in go mode right now. He just walked past all four chests in Hookshot Cave. It'll be interesting to see if he goes back to get them at all. Oh no! This is this this is a one hundred percent go mode situation right now. He is uh he he is he is done with this game. <laughs> he just wants this to be over with at this point. Night opening Meyer. Daddy Gamer's going through Ice Palace, and then we'll probably see them crisscross. Oh, we can't see him crisscross because Daddy Gamer doesn't have the quake. He's doing clean work in Ice Palace. He's going through the rooms very efficiently, not taking a lot of damage, if any.
Now time for the great question. Do we have a Godmire or not as we get a buffering? <laughs> Hang on, no. Uh, oh, I have no idea. <laughs> we got uh, 10 bombs in that chest, so it will okay. not be a Godmire. All right. It'd still be pretty good, Meyer, but it's not Godmire. We got one more chest here. Let's see if this one, let's see if this one pulls it out for us. Nope, Fajita Knight will be looking a little bit harder for that big key, unfortunately. Boots. Boots are a nice palace. Daddy Gamer just found them. He's gonna go pretty quick. That's actually even worse for Daddy Gamers unless it's on the torch. Because that's now three, four more checks that he can do. Uh... Yeah, because he'll have, he'll have a uh, boot, it will have, um... Uh, They'll have Bonk Rocks, they'll have King's Tube, and then they'll have the two right chests in Desert Palace now open to him. Um, he, if, you, if you're a Daddy Gamers fan right now, you're really hoping that those... that that big key is on the torch. That would be huge if it was, because... That's just one check that Fajita Knight's skipping out of all the checks. I, Fajita Knight will go nowhere near that, and if if that's the case, he, he Fajita Knight would clear out all of GT to, uh, GT basement looking for him. Um, don't. <laughs> don't touch that dial. And we finally get the big key over there in Misery Mire. <laughs> It wasn't the worst uh, possible monitor. Uh, well, Daddy Gamers, uh, unfortunately, left the puff balls there. Get a get away from him there. Um, with that sword, if you can get them into the corner, they will go down quick. He's got to be careful, but it looks like he clutches it out there at the end. And hey, gets a little bee in the bottle. Well, the Heat Knight only has one heart. heart and no safeties in there as well it's burna uh that's about all he's got yeah i mean that's burna and then you've got to go and have basically a perfect a perfect um ah takes a death there in the basement Ooh. yeah with even with Burna, you, if you Burna dashed the um, the uh, the eyeballs there from on Vidi there, that'd be a good way to kill those pretty safely, and then you could switch to Silver Arrows, uh, and that would take out Vidi pretty quickly. But um, now he's gonna have a few more hearts once he gets back there. He's still got a pretty substantial lead thanks to that Quake Medallion because. Daddy Gamers is going to show us everything that he could possibly find here. He's going to be hundoing the seed, unfortunately. Just a reminder, as you can see at the top of your screen, Daddy Gamers did take game one. So should Fahid and I pull this out, it will go to a game three. And correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm pretty sure that at that point, Daddy Gamers would get the choice of the next mode. That's correct. He And it starts with this mode, too. It starts at Maps and Compasses, so he could either undo this or train something else. 
Ooh, that could get real fun. So we could get like a map compass shuffle six six crystals or something like that. Or a standard. Where's the love for standard these days? I personally, if I'm if I'm already doing this, give me fast cannon. I don't. I'm I'm tired of that. I'm tired of that. Uh, of of that. Um, uh, what is it? <laughs> that tower. Understandable. Understandable. The knight makes his way past that spike of death. Nearing Viddy. Right, Tower that's named yep. after Ganon, but he doesn't live in it. He lives in a pyramid. It's Ganon's pyramid. Come on now. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Now this is the issue with uh, the those vidi vidi eyeballs. Even with silver arrows, if one of those sneaks through and hits you with green mail, you are looking at a four heart drop just like that. He makes clean work of him. He finishes all of them off. Uh, good showing there for Fajita Knight. That puts him one crystal away from go mode, and looks like Daddy Gamers is now on their way to Spike Cave to look for the Quake Medallion on Armos Knights. Unfortunately. was on the uh, floating island by Hookshot Cave. Oh. There is one of our mail upgrades sitting in the back of Spike Cave, which is, you know, not something you're going to turn down, but not exactly what you're looking for yet. What has Daddy Gamers not done? I haven't done any um, of Skull Woods. Thing of Skull Woods. He did the Smith Chain, he, I believe. He did a little of the Smith Chain, didn't he? he? He didn't do the purple chest, but he did the Smiths. I. And he again sees that it's Quake and cries a little inside, it looks like. <laughs> um, and so at this point, he's running out of places that he can go. Um, I don't Those believe he checked the Infernal Rock Medallion. Right. He still has Graveyard King's Tomb, and if he can get into Turtle Rock, he could do, he could full clear Turtle Rock, and that would be no fun for anyone. Actually, not him. Yeah, and it looks like he's coming back from... He looks like he's coming back into Desert there to go check what's on the right side. Uh, but he's gonna... Yeah, there you go. He's gonna need the key off the torch. If I'm not mistaken, that'll be four bottles for Daddy Gamers there. So he's found all of our bottles. So we now know our safeties and blue mail. Um, that's, you know, not bad. Uh, but Fajita Knight right now is just beelining straight to Cold Stare. Uh, if he's able to pull off this Cold Stare fight without a, without a hitch, he's going to put himself at a commanding lead at this point. But again, as you were saying earlier, green mail getting hugged by cold stare can lead to a bad time. Uh, oh, hey, Daddy Gamers is making the play. We've got ourselves a little bit of a match here. Uh, it's going to have to see what happens real fast with this cold stare fight. OK, 
Okay, that is a very, very, very crisply melted coal stair. Uh, and he picks up his, his bottle and he's on his way to GT. So, Daddy Gamers is gonna be a Ice Palace... Or Meyer. Ice Palace behind. The Ice Palace yeah. and Meyer behind. Oh, no, uh, just a Meyer behind. Right, thank you. You know that Big E isn't in the greatest spot. What will go through your head if you were Daddy Gamers? You just pick up the quake. Go, but you finally found it before you went too crazy. Oh, dear God, I hope my opponent didn't do this because if he did, I'm dead. <laughs> um, you, you, you feel so behind is the thing, especially with it, with it being, with it being map and compass sh shuffle. It's it, it's very easy for someone to have just gone, you know what, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to walk straight in, finish it. That's that. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a rough place. It's a rough place to be in. You never want to be there. Part of me is a little surprised Fajita Knight didn't go and pick up a some blue potion or something like that. He's just relying on the green potion and the B. Um. Oh well, that's actually a good. That was that was a good thing. It turns out Quake was a was uh, the Turtle Rock entry too. So Daddy Gamers would at least have been safe from doing Turtle tur Turtle Rock no matter what. What a relief. Knight's hanging out with some Lionels on the bridge. Very cheerful folk, the Lionels. Yeah, they just want to run up to you and say hi. Only problem is their breath is terrible. Be in part of Gen's army, they don't have a really good dental plan. Game, you know, you really think that guy with that much money could actually afford it. <laughs> it's a tower and and gamers. A yep. 124 and some change. Finally finds his quake and puts himself into go mode. Um, We were going to find out right now if Fajita Knight is actually 100% in go mode here when he walks down these stairs. Ah. Uh, well, all right. That uh, looks like Daddy Gamers at this point is going to require a little bit of uh, a, a, quite a bit of help here to to come back in this one, but it could still happen. I mean, the the climb is not easy, although he is going to take a couple of a couple of swipes from this uh, murder dactyl here. Unfortunately, when you use Quake. That does not hurt the <laughs> that does not hurt the murder dactyl, so you're gonna take a hit there no matter what. And half hearts and green mail going through Gannon's Tower, that's still not a that's not a party. This would be one time that you're you'd be really hoping to just find powder somewhere, just somewhere lying around. Absolutely. Does he? He does not have the bug net. So the powder would be kind of just a, oh man, I'm not doing so hot. I need to kind of pick myself up again. I, there is just so many places where you, that powder comes in. I just a huge handy in this in this climb. If you can just play a, that much more loose. If you're not overly worried about taking hits from every little thing. Absolutely. And a death at the top would be a huge time loss. It could really put Daddy Gamer back in the race. Very easily, very easily. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see. That big key in Meyer was sitting in the main lobby room uh, on top of the, you know, next to the grate here. 
if Daddy Gamers skips the cutscene chest, that'll save him a good 15 to 20 seconds of waiting here. This is if he just turns back as my as my stream jumps up and down. Oh, there's a mail upgrade for Fajita Knight. Oh, and it looks like Daddy Gamers is going to go take the... Nope, nope, nope. Okay, he, he, he psyched me out there with the, with that. <laughs> he a little bit faster. Um, Fajita Knight is still looking for theirs as well. Um, without the boots, having to set up the bomb jump here. Gets it first try, no problem. And... It's looking like there's a chance that key's on the right side as well. It appears that Fajita Knight's not a big fan of Disney's new Armos on Ice. On Ice. Them out with the silvers. Let's not find the key. Looks like we are going right here. Um, this is this is actually a pretty good thing for. Uh, where is it? it's it's one more place where he can make up just a, that little bit of extra time. Um, probably requires a dark magi magician route when you get into uh, GT here, but. At this point, every little bit would help helps him. An advantage of that gold sword there to uh, kill those Gibtos as quickly as he could. And there's our big key in there. Uh, see if he picks up the small. All right. Um. Okay. Well, he's got one key, so he'll have to kill the mini Homosaur at the top to get an extra key for himself. But as gamers is two hearts going into uh, vitreous here now a a touch from one of those eyeballs <laughs> it will will kill him even with blue mail um ooh, get out of there okay <laughs> he's got it he's got it Never in doubt. Never in doubt. That's one thing when you're when you're watching it, you you, you don't have the same level of control that you have when you're playing. <laughs> Absolutely. Fajita Knight is about to hit to head his way up the gauntlet with only three and a half hearts. Uh, wouldn't. And just is gonna go for it. I was, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for the safety door there. And half hearts going through the gauntlet. That's, it's no picnic. Yeah. A good use of the ether medallion here to clear out this first Stalfos room for sure. Daddy Gamer stopped at the witch's hut to pick up a quick blue potion. Uh, and is now going to start their climb. He has to. He really needs to try to get to that uh, dark. Uh, take a dark magician path here. Go on the right side, or else it's just gonna. He's just gonna not gain any more time. Uh, wow, Fajita Knight having actually a pretty nice little gauntlet there. 
ending it with the same amount of hearts as when he came in. I almost feel bad for the Moldorm getting wrecked twice by the Gold Sword. Oh yeah, these poor little Landmos, they got nothing. <laughs> Oh, you have to be careful with them. Uh, like sometimes, sometimes if you just walk into them too many times, you don't really pay attention. Uh, they hurt a surprising amount, actually. They they do one heart off of every male, I believe. And and that fireball, uh, that can really creep up on you how much damage that's doing. Well, definitely. All right, Daddy Gamers is a about to make his way into uh, GT, and that's going to be the moment of truth for him. Pretty quickly, as oh, oh, oh no, uh, Fajita Knight has taken a death to one of the um, whiz robes on quite high up the uh, climb. We've got a race here. Okay, we got a cape and there, so Daddy Gamers is forced to go to the left side at least to get a key. And if he mirrors out and goes and gets the uh, and goes and gets keys out of the first uh, Stalfos room on on GT and does the Dark Magician route here, he's going to be right behind. So uh, the, the, that Dark Magician route seems to be the new meta lately, from what I've seen. A lot of the top runners will be doing that. Yeah, to do kind of, well, it's a right, left, right, or it's just a full, like, left to the, uh, left to the Stalfos there. It doesn't seem like he's doing it, though. He's killing the Stalfos, and yeah. Yeah, he's, he's going to be going, he's going to be going full left, it looks like. Can't blame him. It's, it's hard to make that call on the uh, Dark Magician drought. It really is. Because um, if you're right, you feel amazing. And if you're wrong, then, oh God. Actually, mid-run. I mean, you have so much stuff going through your head. Where am I? Where's my opponent? Especially at this Do stage in the race. Are... Yeah. At this yeah. stage in the race, you're 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 just checking your you're checking the your IRC window and just going, oh god, am I am I like um, how close am I here now? Fajita Knight is getting low on health again. Meanwhile, Daddy Gamer is at full health. Yeah. And he's gonna pick up red mail out of this next room. Uh, we'll see what happens here. This is this is getting this is getting very interesting very quickly. Fajita Knight being smart here and, and remembering that the stun prize is a single heart. He cleared the room. He sit out on that whiz robe that got him the last time. Yeah. Okay, it looks like Fajita Knight should be okay from this point, I say, hopefully.
exactly know what Fajita Knight's checking for right now. Oh, but that fairy would be helpful. Good health going into uh, his refight with Moldorm. down mold orb 2 without too much problem here daddy gamers is just now starting their gt climb so there's about a good five minutes difference between the two right now uh it would, it's gonna require uh a ganon fall or something to really kind of even this out we'll have to see if uh with the gold sword and blue mail uh it can still happen If Fajita Knight did his homework in geometry class. It's double there. And another double to send on to the uh, send us on to the big pig looking good coming out of that fight almost full health full magic half magic the armor he's gonna have the cape as well yeah he's gonna have the cape as well with a green pot so like this shouldn't be too bad Ganon's final words are Pink Floyd. Always a good one right there. I'm still, uh, although I will say, my, my personal favorite is the grumble, 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 seriously, you're supposed to bring more food. A little slow on that uh, uh, on that first, uh, first jump of phase three. Got a couple of fire bats, but none of them touched him at all. Oh, good point, Jet. Oh no, Silver, I want your weakness. What his tombstone says. Oh, and a nice setup there, getting Ganon right in the center of the room, picking up a quick double. One more swipe and a fourth Silver Arrow into Ganon. Get your GG's in chat, as Fajita Knight just needs to cross our little shiny bridge and pick up his Triforce. And hype, he made it over the bridge. Good game, Fajita Knight. And looks like Fajita Knight has indeed finished in first place with an SRL time of 140.27. You're now joined by Fajita Knight. How's it going? I'm doing well, guys. How are you? All right. How are you feeling GG's about that seat? Uh, I mean, overall, I'm feeling pretty good. That's one of the better seats I've run in a while. So it's uh, felt uh, way less rusty than some of the other ones. <laughs> what was the reasoning behind the map compass trip, uh, pick? Um. I, I think it's interesting. I, I we we had a chat in one of the other Discord servers about like what what you should pick based on uh, what you think your relative skill level is. And I kind of made the point where it's you know this tournament's for fun, right? So it's uh, I I think uh, running a little bit of Key Sanity Light is uh, is is a pretty interesting option to pick versus just running a standard seed or. A, you know, something something a little more basic. So it was it was really just based out of interest. 
interesting for us. Yeah, it's a cool mode. You uh, you, you skipped some knowledge early on. You were skipping maps here and there. Is there any reason behind that? Um, I mean, I, I've kind of I, I've run a couple of seats over the last couple of days. I think with with the the increased uh, locations in dungeons, I think that there's there's a high likelihood you're going to be getting some some uh, um, some uh, what's the word uh, pedestal dungeons uh, pendant dungeons um, anyway, just because you know there's an extra two items in each each location. So I don't put a huge priority on uh, on checking the crystals in in, in these. I mean. And then I end up I end up doing Skull Woods and get a get a pendant out of it and you know I still I think there was progression in Skull, Skull Woods anyway I can't remember my memory's bad. Yeah, good points. Yeah, you, uh, uh... I, I, I do want to talk about possibly the worst death in Rando history. Um, in the second Wizard room Wizard room in my GT five. Um, I'm, I, I might be the only person, um, in chat right now that's ever died in that room at this point. It's very, it's very possible. So, I mean, that's, uh, that was probably my major, my major takeaway from this run was, uh, was that moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that definitely, <laughs> oh, go ahead there, go ahead, sorry. Um, that's it. Yeah, I mean, you pulled it together. It's great. Oh yeah, it ended all right, but I mean, it's just uh, just just the way it happened. I'm just going for a cheeky little poke, and uh, no, not a chance. <laughs> and you ended up giving us a, a little bit of a little bit more of a excite excitement there uh, when when you took that uh, fall. Um, thing is, uh, now when when did you know what the medallion was to Meyer? Uh, that was a question that we kind of had at some point. Um, I realized as I was entering uh, uh, Swamp Palace that I I either couldn't remember if if I had checked it or I just flat out didn't check it the first time I was in my area, and uh, I had no idea. So that's why I was checking stuff in in Swamp Palace because. Um, uh, I figured I wasn't gonna do the left side at that point. I figured, you know, two out of three um, chance I got the I have the right medallion, but uh, you know, in the you know, in the off chance that I don't, I'm just gonna do those extra couple checks. Um, and then that's why I fluted right to uh, to Meyer after I did uh, uh, Swamp Palace just to double check so that I knew going into ice I could just do a do a uh, a go mode ice. Hey, the gamers just right. finished with a official SRL time of one hour, 44 minutes and 45 seconds. So get your GGs in chat for daddy gamers. He now joined us, daddy gamers. How you feeling? Uh, uh, I knew it. I knew it as soon as I saw uh, Quake on Armos Nights. I knew he had me because I noped out of there so early. GG. Good game. Uh, yeah, really good game. Yeah, unfortunately, Daddy Gamers, when we found out that uh, Quake was required here, we kind of knew that you were in for a bad time. Uh, it's just one of those unfortunate rando decisions uh, that, you know, completely out of your control. Um, otherwise, though, it looked like you had run a pretty, pretty good seed otherwise there. You'd been going to um, crystal to crystal without any problem. What are your feelings towards the most of it? I mean, I was really happy with the seed. I mean, we were actually talking uh, after I finished before we came in here that um, this could have been like a jet seed, like a 110, 120 jet seed um, with the way the items and crystal locations fell. Um, and I was, re I was really happy with my decisions. I didn't touch Skull Woods. Um, yeah, I, I we couldn't we didn't have to do uh, TR fortunately, um, and and just the whole time I was like, why did we get the bow so early? There was nothing in Pod, and then I saw Pod and T or uh, Pod and uh, Swamp were red crystals, and I thought, oh, we can do those early. There's got to be something in Fat Fairy, and then there was nothing in Fat Fairy, and in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, 
all right, what did, what, what did I leave in Eastern? What did I leave in Eastern? And I thought, oh, it's the fire rod. I'm going to have to do Aga for Bombos to do ice polish or something crazy like that. Then the fire rod turned up. And, all right, I'm just a medallion away. And then I started, you know, the hunt. Uh, the unfortunate not actual ice rod ice rod hunt more or less there yeah uh i tried a couple of quick things yeah yeah, like i tried like you know i I was went to misery mire did my shed and i thought all right well let me dip back into desert because i did that early when i couldn't get the items and there was nothing there and then i eventually was all right let's go back to eat and i i I knew he had me I, i knew it was over Closer than you may have realized. Um, it really came down to Gannon's Tower. Yeah, I t- I so when I finished, I tuned in just in time to to see Pete and I making the, the the GT climb, and I'm like, wait a minute. I said, what happened? Because he's crushing me, and then all of a sudden, I heard one of you guys say, with three and a half hearts, and I thought, oh my gosh, he's going to take a death. And then I saw it. Oh, it feels awful. I, felt, I think that was I for you that favorite part of the run. <laughs> it was it was really good. I'm really happy it happened. <laughs> it was it was a fun seat. I was I was really happy when when Fahita Knight chose Map Compass. Um, I just think it's fun. I, I think it's I I heard one of you guys say Key Sanity Light. I really like it. It's just fun. It's a fun mode. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's it is. It's fun and it. Uh, it it just gives that little twist, right? Where it's uh, it's just a little bit different than what you're used to, which is nice. Well, thanks for racing for us, guys. Uh, Dave, do you have any final questions? Oh no, I can't can't really think of anything right now. Uh, that was an en- entertaining game to watch. Uh, Daddy Gamers, um, it was very uh, you know unlucky uh, unlucky with the Quake medallion, but. Um, other than that, like everybody played well, and it was definitely, definitely an entertaining, entertaining watch for everyone. Thanks. Well, th- thanks to you guys for uh, restreaming and commentating and tracking and all that kind of stuff. I really appreciate it. So yeah. thanks, guys. Thank you. We Mexican food guys have to stick together. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> there's a, there's a good debate there, right? What's better, a burrito or a fajita? So <laughs> that with you off that if you want. Where's uh? <laughs> Where's our taco friends? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thanks. GG. Uh, everyone be sure to follow them. They gave us a good show tonight. Uh, both really good runners. And I've been Benny Burrito with Dazed. And that's a wrap, I believe. Is that another food joke? Oh, oh God, nice. I want to wrap. <laughs> and that's a crunch rep, I believe. That's what I'm going for right now after this. All right. Well, this has been an Thank you, everyone. first week. Um, so yeah. And have a good night. Uh, come back come back later for some more fun Challenge Cup action. There's tons of events going on on all three ZSR channels tomorrow. So make sure you guys tune in. There's all sorts of different games. Other than that, you guys have a nice night. Thanks. Good night, everyone.